They're Made Out of Meat by Terry Bison, 1990. Uh, Terry Bison is an American science fiction and fa fantasy author, and They're Made Out of Meat is one of his most famous short stories. In this story, two speakers are discussing whether or not they should welcome foreign beings from another planet. As you read, take, take notes in your head on what the dialogue between the speakers reveals about their opinion of the, in quotes, meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? Meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels, and probed them all the way through. They're completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals, the messages to the stars? They use the radio waves to talk, but the signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're asking me to believe in sentient, sentient meat. All right. If you notice down in the footnote, sentient, sentient, which would be a great word of the day, means capable of sensing or feeling. It's sentient, sentient, like you've got sense, sentient. It means you can think and feel. Like a uh, rock is not a sentient being. Um, all right, but you are. You're asking me to believe in sentient meat. I'll try saying that really fast. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in that sector, and they're made out of meat. Well, maybe they're like the Orpholi, you know, a carbon-based intelligence, intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope. They're born meat, and they die meat. We studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what's the lifespan of meat? Spare me, okay? Maybe they're only part meat. You know, like the Weddily, a meathead with an electron plasma brain inside. <laughs> nope. We thought of that. Since they do have meat heads like the Weddily. But I told you we probed them. They're meat all the way through. No brain? Oh, there's a brain all right. It's just that the brain is made out of meat. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So what does the thinking? <laughs> You're not understanding, are you? You're refusing to deal with what I'm telling you. The brain does the thinking. The meat. Thinking meat? You're asking me to believe in thinking meat. Yes, thinking meat. Conscious meat. Loving meat. Dreaming meat. The meat is the whole deal. Are you beginning to get the picture or do I have to start all over? Oh my God, you're serious then. They're made out of meat. Thank you. Finally, yes, they are indeed made out of meat. And they've been trying to get in touch with us for almost a hundred of their years. Oh my God. So what does this meat have in mind? Well, first it wants to talk to us. Then I imagine it wants to explore the universe, contact other sentiences, swap ideas and information. You know, the usual. We're supposed to talk to meat? That's the idea. That's the message they're sending out by radio. Hello, anyone out there? Anybody home? That sort of thing. They actually do talk then? They use like words, ideas, concepts. Oh yeah, except they do it with me. I thought you just told me they use the radio. They do, but what do you think is on the radio? Meat sounds. You know how when you slap or flap meat, it makes a noise? They talk by flapping their meat at each other. They can even sing by squirting air through their meat. Oh my God, singing meat? This is altogether too much. So what do you advise? Officially or unofficially? Well, both. Officially, we're required to contact, welcome, and log in any and all sentient races or multi-beings in this quadrant of the universe without prejudice, fear, or favor. Unofficially, I advise that we erase the records and forget this whole thing. Oh, I was hoping you would say that. I mean, it seems harsh, but there is a limit. Do we really want to make contact with meat? I agree 100%. What's there to say? Hello, meat. How's it going? But will this work? How many planets are we dealing with here? Just one. They can travel to other planets in special meat containers, but they can't live on them. And being meat, they can only travel through sea space, which limits them to the speed of light, makes the possibility of their ever making contact with us Pretty slim. Infinitesimal, in fact. Let's see what infinitesimal, well, let's see. 
Yep, see, uh, extremely small, and then the next we're going to have crackpot, which means a foolish person. Okay. So infinitesimal, which is tiny, 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 small, in fact. So we just pretend there's no one home in, in the universe, in this universe. That's it. C cruel. But you said it yourself. Who wants to meet meat? And the ones who've been aboard our vessels, the ones you probed, you're sure they won't remember? They'll be considered crackpots if they do. We went into their heads and smoothed out their meat so that we're just a dream to them. <laughs> a dream to meet. <laughs> How strangely appropriate that we should be meat's dream. And we marked the entire sector unoccupied. Good. Agreed officially and unofficially. Case closed. Any others? Anyone interesting on that side of the galaxy? Yeah, a rather shy but sweet hydrogen core cluster intelligence in a class 9 star in G445 zone was in contact two galactic rotations ago and wants to be friendly again. They always come around. And why not? Imagine how unbearably, how unutterably cold the universe would be if one were all alone. Dun, dun, dun. They're made of meat. So um, I uh, will be posting these questions in a Google form. Um, there will be some text dependent questions here from common lit and then some open ended, uh, discussion questions as well. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed. They're made out of meat.